So question 5c, we have x over 4 equals 9 over x. And again, this is just one fraction equal to another fraction. It's a, it's a proportion. We can solve this by cross multiplying. x times x is x squared. And that equals 4 times 9, which is 36. Okay, so we just cross multiplied. Now we have x squared equals 36, sorry. Okay, x squared equals 36. Now to solve this, we simply need to take the square root of both sides. Okay? Now when you take the square root of both sides, you must plug in plus or minus over here. I'll tell you why in a sec. What's the square root of x squared? It's, it's the inverse operation. Okay, so you just get back x. Okay? And that's equal to plus or minus, and what's root 36? 6. So it means x is positive 6 or x equals negative 6. Okay? Positive 6 or negative 6. And the reason that's the case is because when we had x squared equals 36, there's two numbers that we can plug in to make that work. Okay? If you plug in positive 6, you get 6 times 6, which is 36. If you plug in negative 6, you get negative 6 times negative 6. What's that? That's also positive 36. So that's why when you take the square root of both sides, you must plug in plus or minus. Now let's go back here again because there's another way. When we had x squared equals 36, you might say to yourself, this is, it. This is the other way of doing it. Method 2, right? This is, uh, you know, factoring. Um, you might say, well, this is an equation. It has a squared in it. I'm going to get 0 on one side. So I'm going to get x squared minus 36 equals 0. And now I'm going to factorize. So this is a difference of squares. x squared minus 6 squared equals 0, right? Or x plus 6 times x minus 6 equals 0. It's a difference of squares, right? So either your x plus 6 is 0 or your x minus 6 is 0 and solve each of these equations and we get x is negative 6 or x is positive 6, right? Same thing. Plus or minus 6 is the answer, right? But there's two ways of doing it. The using square roots, take a square root of both sides, or uh, get 0 on one side and factorize, right?